So are you in the right city? Are you in the right location? So here's some of my strategy of what I learned and what I recommend to do here. So, you know, normally I would recommend, and most people think differently. They're like, okay, I'm going to go wherever the need is. So where there's no PTs and no other medical facility, I'm going to go and serve that market because there's a need there. That may or may not work for a cash-based practice. What I recommend is that you go to an oversaturated market. You want to go where there's PTs everywhere, chiropractors everywhere, physicians everywhere, um, massage therapists, personal trainers, lawyers, accountants. Um, you want to go to an oversaturated market because we're going to do it better than everyone else. So the oversaturated market already shows that the need is there. We're just going to do it better. We're going to serve the market better. We're going to give them a better patient experience and we're going to show better outcomes than everyone else. Many um, clinicians, it can be done in a small rural town. You can make it happen, but um, a lot of people have tried it and failed sometimes because the market just isn't there enough um, to run a cash based practice. So what I recommend is to do it in a city or a town that has a great economy. There's a lot of businesses, you know, Everything's booming. There's lawyers, CPAs, there's physicians everywhere. And it's an oversaturated healthcare market that there's, if you do a Google search, there's red red dots everywhere. So here's an example of, of my market. Now, I did a search for best physical therapy in Orlando, and this, and this popped up. I should have just said physical therapy Orlando, and you would have seen like three times as, as many dots. So you have to think of it too is, we're not just competing against other physical therapists. We're actually competing against physicians, chiropractors, athletic trainers, massage therapists, personal trainers. You know, it's like the healthcare market is huge. Okay. So I'm in a ultra uber oversaturated market in my area, which is great for a cash-based practice. And that's why my Orlando location has been able to thrive and, uh, and grow. But honestly, this picture doesn't even show you the real saturation of this i should have just did physical therapy orlando and uh you could see all the dots going on but you know again it's good to be in an oversaturated market and you don't have to worry if there's lots of competition or or lots of physical therapists there already that's a great place to start a cash-based practice because the need and the want is there and we're just going to do it better than all of our competition so um, another thing to do is kind of look into where do you want to open your practice at? So let me tell you a little story about what happened to me. So around Orlando, there's some suburbs. There's Maitland, Winter Park, College Park, Soto, um, you know, uh, Dr. Phillips. There's a whole bunch of other small suburbs around Orlando. And I initially started mine in Maitland, Florida. Yeah, I know it's Maitland because like Maitland joint mobs and stuff like that. So, but it ran into the SEO searches on that because physical therapy Maitland, you could be getting up Jeffrey Maitland mobilization courses instead of physical therapy. But the point is, is that I started my clinic in Maitland and my address said Maitland, Florida. And I dominated Maitland searches, but my business listings and my websites weren't popping up on Orlando searches. So, when I started out, I was in Maitland and it was a blessing in disguise when I ended up expanding and I moved to College Park. Okay. College Park is right beside, it's just across I-4. I moved to a new location, but was what worked out great is that the address was Orlando, Florida. And my business just took off because of local searches. And I was dominating Orlando searches now because my address was in Orlando. So if you look at this, we'll go back up here. You can see Pursuit right here, but here's Maitland and here's Winter Park and here's College Park and here's down, downtown Orlando. So Maitland and Winter Park are super expensive. So is downtown Orlando. I'm right on the outside of it, but I'm close enough where I'm tapping into that market and I'm paying the cheapest rent. Okay. So you want to strategize yourself to be able to be not in the super expensive area, but right on, on the outside of it. So if I wanted to target Maitland, Winter Park, College Park, downtown Orlando, 
where's the best location for me to be in there? And then for SEO purposes or for search purposes, SEO stands for search engine optimization. And sorry, I didn't explain this earlier, that if someone types in best Sataka treatment in Orlando, Florida, that my website for Sataka has those keywords in there. So my website page pops up first or um, best physical therapy Orlando, Florida, which is an SEO keyword that you guys should be using um, that we rank number one when someone searches for the best physical therapy. So that's what search engine optimization is. Um, so anyway, when I moved, the point is, is when I moved to an Orlando location for my business, local searchers just went like this and my business boomed. So that's something that you have to look into also is make sure to pay attention to your address and make sure that it's, you know, reaching your target market too. Um, and another key strategy with this is, you know, I wanted to grow, eventually I'm going to grow beyond, beyond Orlando. If you're only playing on like, on like staying small and you want to target say winter park, you know, I may name my physical therapy clinic winter park physical therapy. Because I'm going to dominate SEO in any search for Winter Park Physical Therapy. So if your plan is to stay small, you may just name your place Winter Park Physical Therapy if you want to target Winter Park. If you're from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, um, and you want to target Harrisburg, you may just name it Harrisburg Physical Therapy. And, you know, and that way you're going to dominate your local searches. So the main points here is you know you want to be in an oversaturated market. That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. I highly recommend you being in, a, in an oversaturated market. Pay attention to the address. Make sure you know it helps to be. If I'm targeting Orlando, all of Orlando, to have an Orlando address because you know you're going to pop up on local searches a lot more. And then as you're looking at a location, look at rents and can I get a cheaper rent but still target my target area. And so the, those are three kind of key strategies that you can learn about choosing the right city and choosing the right area or the location when you're starting a brick and mortar clinic or even a mobile one, because you still have to have a, a PO box or a post office where you're going to get mail and stuff. So hope this helps. Um, these are the keys of looking at your location and where to find the best city.